what is up tgif happy friday oh i'm so excited for the weekend we are having like the best weather and i cannot wait to get out on that boat um so wanting to share with you guys i love to come into my groups especially on fridays and talk with them about their plans for the weekend because for me that has always been my biggest struggle like no matter what um since for the to the for the end of time like forever and a day anytime friday would roll around from the beginning to my journey to even these days i think it's friday what am i going to eat this weekend like it is a terrible terrible habit terrible cycle to be in um it's more of a mindset shift than anything else though i hate to like this the secret everyone's like how do you stay motivated how do you it's a mindset shift it's how you think about food and um the it, it's it's you it's your mental status for sure um but i ha i wanted to come in and give you guys my best tips and help you to uh some of the things that i work through so that you maybe can have a more successful weekend okay um so i got like little notes here i just want to make sure i cover everything um and having a plan is like completely 100 the key but that doesn't mean you have to be perfect okay I can't say enough, guys, that it's about progress. It's not about perfection. There's no such thing as perfection. There just isn't. There's no one that is perfect. There, You shouldn't strive to be perfect. I mean, it's just not attainable. And when you set your expectations so high and you can't meet those and you fall down, that's when you're like, see, I told you I couldn't do it. See, see, I told you this isn't going to work for me. And your mind tells you, reinforces what you already were thinking about yourself. But if you set your expectations at a, in a reasonable place and you think, you know, I can do that. I can, you know, plan one or two cheat meals this week, treat meals, right? And that's all how you talk about it, right? So it's not a cheat. You're tr it's a treat, right? It's a positive thing. It's not a negative thing. So you don't feel guilty about eating. You don't feel guilty or you're bad for eating carbs or bad for eating ice cream or drinking cocktails. Like... We gotta change that mindset, right? So part of having a plan is changing that mindset and, and those stories that we're telling ourselves, okay? So don't be perfect. Don't set the bar so high that when you can't meet it, you beat yourself up and fall off, right? Set expectations in a reasonable place. What, what are the easiest things that you can be doing, right? What, what is easy? Shoot for the easy stuff. Get consistent with the easy stuff and then start to build on from there and level up your expectation, okay? So for me, I plan treats. Um, I plan my, my weekends out so that all week long, I'm pretty much 100% on plan, um, tracking my food, I'm logging, I, am, I know exactly what I'm eating, um, the workouts, all the things. And so when the weekend rolls around, because I know this of me, I'll say we're, one day we'll get, we're going to go out to dinner or one meal we're going to have pizza or go out or whatever, right? So I typically try to keep it one. Sometimes it ends up being two, but I really plan at least one treat meal. In the grand scheme of things, if you're following an 80-20 rule, you should be fine and you'll still reach your goals, right? So for me, I feel like my threshold is two meals max before I start to slide backwards, right? Because every healthy decision you make brings you closer to your goals. And then every not healthy decision you make either keeps you standing still or takes you in reverse, right? So lesson learned again through experience, right? I mean, literally guys, when I first started my journey, I picked up insanity so that I could kick my ass all week long and drink Bud Light and eat crap all weekend. So I was like starving myself, killing myself all week. And then for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I would like eat thousands of calories and wonder why am I not finding success in this all, you know? Yeah, and smoking cigarettes at the time. Never try insanity on, on cigarettes, it's just a bad deal. Okay, so planning my treats, okay. And then so if you are gonna go out, right, you can do it healthy, right? So there are some other thought processes you can have when you go out. So if you're tracking your food, like me, I'm always sharing with you guys, like lately I've been testing tracking macros and I'm having a lot of fun with that. And the cool thing is, is because I can log it into my app and it's gonna tell me how many calories, how many fat, how many carbs, how many protein and things like that. And when you go to a restaurant, a lot of times those apps are gonna have that in there so you could look ahead to the menu and say 
I want to have, um, you know, a margarita or a beer, and I'm going to have this entree that they have or whatever appetizer or something like that and plug it into your app. And then, you know, before you go out, what you're eating, right? So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll plug that stuff in and then, and it's before I've eaten anything for the day. So I'll plug that stuff in, which will be a, like a more heavier dinner, right? And then fill in the gaps like breakfast, lunch, you know, throughout the day, that kind of thing. So you can work and plan it backwards, right? The other thing that you can do is use the hand, palm, fist, the portion control method, right? So like a palm, of uh, protein is about the size of your hand there, a fist of carbs, a fist of vegetables, and then a thumb of fats. So that's a really good guideline and you just have a balanced plate. So when you go out, you just pick a protein, a carb, and a fat and a vegetable and just have the four things on your plate. Portion control, if the steak is huge, take half home. Like sometimes they'll even say it's a six ounce steak or whatever, like just no, like no, right? And I think you're just, it's the mindset of having the freedom of, uh, I'm gonna have a steak and um, with a big potato and butter on it or cheese or whatever, right? Like that's the freedom of being out, being able to have that flexibility, right? And you know you've stayed within your parameters, okay? Um, if you are, um, you know, going to a friend's house or you're going to a party or some type of gathering, you know, ask if you can bring something, right? If you're the person that brings the healthy dish, then you know what's in it. You know that you can eat it and you're good, right? So you can stick to that stuff. The other big part of going somewhere, going out too, is making sure that you're, um, you know, drinking a lot of water, right? Having, filling yourself up with water so that you're not tempted by like the bread at the table or like, um, I'm always tempted by like chips and crackers and that kind of stuff. Cheese and crackers is like kryptonite you know um and so snacking on veggies is huge right now again guys nobody's perfect so it's not going to kill you to have a couple crackers right or have like a, a portion of something at someone's house right and so we need to think about that it's not going to undo the whole week if you have a couple what undoes the whole week is if you do that the whole week right if you're drinking every single night if you are having ice cream every single night you know if you're eating too much deli meat, <laughs> you know, different things that you do consistently every single, it's going to add up to big things, right? But if you're just doing a couple little things here and there, once or twice a week, you're pretty good, okay? Um, and I always say, um, you know, all weekend long, like have your water with me. I, I do like to have my cocktails and drinks, but I don't do that all day. So I'll have my water and my regular things, my Shakeology, all this stuff all day long, and then maybe have uh, Saturday night, have some drinks, um, and have water in between those drinks, right? So it's kind of helping you a little bit long. You might not need as much, right? Those kinds of things. Um, get your workouts in, stay active, keep moving, right? So all of that kind of stuff helps you all weekend long too. And then the other big part of it is if you do mess up, don't give up because you can just keep going the next day. Like when Sunday rolls around, I'm really just ready to go back to my plan. Um, you know, I really feel like after a certain point, you're gonna get have on your journey and feel like you feel good and you feel like you're in control, right? Um, I can remember a couple of different separate times in my life where I would did a program or did some type of a challenge that helped me get up to the next hunt, hope, hump and then get over to the next hump and then like you feel like you're stuck for a little bit and then you go to the next level and that kind of thing. So being at it a long time is helpful for you, right? It's going to be helpful, just keep going. And don't think about food as um, a treat or entertainment, right? It's fueling your body, it's helping you. So it's either helping you in a positive way or helping you in a negative way. Um, and so just keep going, right? Get up on Sunday mornings, get your stretch in, yoga, go for a walk, and plan the rest of your meals that and, and be on point that day. So like for me, I go shopping, um, before the weekend or during the weekend and I, my meals are all planned for today. I'm fine um, Tomorrow night we might do something fun. We have the baseball game tomorrow So I'll be bringing my um, things that I like to eat on the go there I'll bring my Shakeology I'll bring some apples and make sure I eat plenty before I leave We'll be home after lunchtime or so and I have my regular meals there And then the plan is to do something special for dinner tomorrow night But then on Sunday, it's like business as usual, right and having that plan is huge Okay, so the last thing I'll leave you with is I, um, every Thursday, when you are a part of my um, 
Next Level Living Fit Gym. If you are in any of my groups, you're privy to my weekly menu. It is a seven day meal plan and it has a full menu on there and has shopping list and recipes, the full, full Monty. And it's in a PDF. So if you're watching this and you're feeling like I really could use some direction for next week, just comment below and I will send you the PDF and you can go shopping and be prepared this weekend and enjoy a yummy menu all week long, family friendly and all. Um, and so that's my gift to you guys today, this Friday going into the weekend. Um, so excited for the weather. I hope the sun comes out soon. It is going to be warm though. That is what I'm looking to forward to most. Um, if you guys have any questions or you're struggling with something really specific, just send me a message. My inbox is always open. I have a ton of tools and resources to help you guys um, along with my free community. You can always be a part of my free community. So many resource, resources in there. Um, get a chance to work with me a little bit inside that. Um, I love, love, love doing um, the challenge. We're still in the taco challenge. So I'm excited to make the fish tacos this weekend. Um, and the podcasts have been incredible. So um, questions, drop them below. Let me know if you want that menu. And um, have a great weekend. Happy Friday, guys.